Hello everybody and welcome back to Willy Revenge. Last week we found out who GB is. It is Germani Khan's friend. Which we don't know exactly who he is. But I'm sure we'll find out in the next couple of days or weeks or whatever. Last episode we also made our first two machines which are in here. Look, just there look. Oh, look at those sexy things. Now this week we are going to work on the power. And if you look in NEI, we are going to do big reactors. Yeah. So we're going to need a lot of materials. So we need graphite bars, iron, uranium, well, uranium or ylorium. Anyway, I've done a lot of mining. Here's loads of ores. I'm just chucking all the iron ore just in here. Just so we have, look at all this iron. It is amazing. Just stop pouring out. Now also, we're going to have to make some more machines as well, but I'll come back to that a little bit later. Let's mainly focus on getting the big reactor sorted. So we're going to need some iron, have got any ingots in here as well, ingots, 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 there we go. What else are we going to need? Definitely need some redstone, look how many diamonds I've got. I was, I was literally going hammer and tongue. Take the coal and do we actually need any glass? Have a look. Oh, we need some wood and a piston, which I can make. Oh yeah, I'll, some other bits of loot I got from my splunking earlier. Take this, and I believe I've got some wood. Oh, wrong way, over here. Now, I was going to make a really tiny reactor, but as you'll see in a minute, I've made a massive hole for a big, big reactor. So, look at all these graphite bars I've got. Smell it up. Let's chuck this in to smelt. Just keep that in there. Because we're going to need the lorium to build cases. Now while that's right up, oh, chest, do well. So, we're gonna need, it was that, wasn't it? What was I gonna make? Oh yeah, we need two of these, so we need some more wood. But anyway, I'll quickly show you the hole down here that we're going to put the big reactor. Ta-da! This is going to be amazing. So it's going to be 8 by 8 and 4 high. Then you've got space up there so you can deal with all the stuff at the top. So let me give you a quick rundown on what you need for a big reactor. So you're going to need some reactor casing because that is used to build all the other parts and to obviously build the multi block itself. So that's the main basics of the big reactor. Then of course you're going to need a controller, which is very simple to make. You just need reactor casing, uranium, diamond and some redstone. You're going to need a power tap. I'm going to build a couple of these. And we need is a reactor casing again, redstone and that's it. And you need some access port so you can insert and exit the waste and the product to make power. And then finally you need these two. So you need a leorium fuel rod. Which that's where the fuel goes and then you need a control rod which goes on tops and you can control the temperature that they are so that can help with making it more efficient and that right so let's see how much the lorium has been made if not i don't think a lot has been made but that do for now so i've got a list here i put, might put a pop-up on the screen so we're gonna need one controller eight control rods 16 fuel rods, two access ports, and I've put four power taps. So we start with making some casing. It would help if I break down the iron. We might, we may need to get some more iron. Boom, fire. Making controller. Done. That easy. Power tap. Boom. Again. That easy. Then we need 
a piston, so I should have some more down here. There we go, got some lovely wood. Let's quickly make a piston down here so it's access port. We need two of these. Hmm. Oh my god, I've used all my iron already. Alright, let's go back and get some. Right, so I've run it dry. Uh, I need to get some more iron ore to fill these up, but I could do that later on. Right, so where was we? So we've made the pads up. We've made the controller. All we need now is some control rods, access ports, and some fluid rods. So let's quickly make the pistons in here. And just, just make another chest. I think that is all the wood that we need, but just in case we'll take it with us anyway. It is quite quality now, we can actually use our volcano base. Oh yeah. How's the other Yorium doing? Oh, that's done. Let's put another stack on. Now we will vent we need to make some I think it's an open blocks. Elevators eventually because keep running up and down these stairs, it's so annoying. Right, so we were making the access ports. Boom! Oh, we need some more casing. Boom. All right, we have it for now. I don't ever really need more. Iron. We need some more graphite as well. Cool. Right, there's the access ports done. Now what's left is the control rods and the fuel rods. Here, so. so the fuel rods we need loads. Boom. Right, so we need three more of them. So that means we need more iron and stuff. Right, can we make these? Make two of them. That's not good. Right, I'm going to quickly go and get some more iron and smelt up some more coal to make some graphite bars. Yeah. Right, so I've got a little bit more. I've got some more graphite bars. I've got another stack of delirium and I've got near enough a stack of iron. So hopefully that should be enough to finish it. Fingers crossed. So all we need is three more of them. And then we need six more control rods what are we running on probably the react casing all right and then the control rods so we need six more i think i said there we go so we've got all the main parts now all we need to do is make some more reactor casing itself. Which we can't, but out of iron again. But yeah, all you do is you just place it all like that and then you make a control rod and stuff. But there isn't much we can do at the moment because we haven't got all the materials. But what I can do is start to place. So if we put. I like it like that. We'll have that. Like so. Then the control panel. Go there. taps will just go along there for now. I don't need that fourth one. Then we just break the wood.
Right then, so that is the <laughs> big reactor so far. It's uh, nowhere near completed. So we're quickly going to do some other bits now. So other than the big reactor, we need to make some coolant for it. And we're going to need some fluid transport. We're going to need a magma crucible and an induction smelter. So the induction smelter, I don't think we can do yet because we need some iron dust, I believe. Yeah, we need some iron dust and some pulverized ferrous. So we need to go mine again. And then the magma crucible, we need to go to the nether. So I think that will be the next best thing. So we we'll chuckle this just in there for now. I know it is. I'll come back to that later. Right. So I do believe if we just go home. In here. It's somewhere that I've got loads of obsidian. It's a brand new day, yeah. Right, have I actually got any more iron in here at the river? No. Any iron? Don't think I'll be lucky to have some kind of iron line about. Anyway, so we're going to make another portal to need. I think it's 10. Oh. I need a fence still as well. Right, so I should have in here one bit of iron that I do. Right, because this is where our main base operations is going to be. I'm just going to put the portal in here. So it can go. Just like, oh shit, whoopsie, and then we make a fin and steel, boom, boom, oh yes, it's never time baby. Actually, put the torch down as well. So, what are we looking for in the nether? Well, we're looking f mainly for nether brick, which you can make that by smelting a nether rack in a smelter or a redstone furnace. Also, we'll be looking for um, if we go on look some snow to make um, we need to make some blizz powder because it's used for making cryophium dust, which is used for making, I can't even pronounce that, but that is the coolant that we'll be using for our big reactor. So, is there anything that we need to find? I think we need to find, yeah, some salt pits, because they'll, when they've been pulverized, will give us nikita, I think that's how you pronounce it. Too sure. And it, yeah, that, that's mainly used for that stuff. But we're going to need it to make the cryogen dust. So we've got a list of stuff to get. Let's go mining. Wow. I can't have got any more luckier. Look at that. Straight away. Right next to a fortress. Oh, yeah. And some is that salt? Oh yes! Oh my god, this is so lucky. And by the way, this is generally not set up. That was my first portal I've made to the Never. Oh yeah, right. Let's explore. Actually, first of all, let's put a waypoint over here. Welcome freaking reach up here. Some salt pits over there as well. Oh yeah. How do I do it there? Maybe my points. Add. Hold. Right. So 
how we explore this. Yes. What I'll do is I'll probably just do highlights of the Never Trip. So we'll be back at the portal in no time. Shit! That was not good. Ha! Oh, ha! Oh, ha! Oh, luckily, I've got my toes. Shit. Did I actually lose anything that valuable? Except for my golden bag of holding, but other than that. Bollocks! God. Oh my god. Right. I've got my tool back. I've died. So many freaking times. Right. All I need is some never break and some nicket. Nicket. Ah, uh, salt pits, whatever you want to call them. Right. Fuck it. I know I'd technically cheat, but I had to do that. I'd rather die here than out there. Oh my god. This is just terrible. Right. It's time to go one last time to the nether. Right, take it easy, Carl. Just take it easy. Right. What we're looking for is salt pits, and that's it. That's it. If you're getting uh, never quartz, that'd just be a bonus. Oh yeah. Bonus! <laughs> oh, what's up here? I really hate the nether. Oh, yes! We could do with these. No, we can't, 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 no! Oh my god. Let's just stay away from that. If you can find any iron as well, would be another bonus. But I think that's it, that there, isn't it? God, this hammer just like smashes through, doesn't it? Right, I've got some iron. Right, I just need that salt pits. There's got to be some out here. I found two like really easy early on. It's probably trying to mug me up the time. There we go, some over there. Oh, what's that down there? That diamond. There's emerald. I think. Oh no, it's emerald. Don't really care about that. <clears throat> right, I'm um, we'll gonna keep searching for that stuff up there, and then I'll be back. Right, I'm back. So 
I've found quite a lot of iron, so I've smelted half of it, and this is the other half, and I've made some reactor casings. I've also found 21 salt pitters, so hopefully that should be enough, and I've also got the nether bricks. So let's go and hopefully finish the reactor to start off with. Put these on to smelt, or well, not smelt, but to pulverize. And yeah, let's finish the big reactor. By the looks of this, we're definitely going to need a lot more reactor casing. So hopefully once the iron smelt, we should have enough iron to finish building more casing for this. This is a, a lot bigger than I anticipated, to be fair. So, it's there, I believe. Yeah, I have a little setup that I always do for my reactor. I don't know if it's efficient, but this is the way I do it. And then on top of them, we'll go to the control box. Right, so all we need now is a ton more <laughs> reactor casing. Which I might actually make some glasses or a reactor glass. Have a look, to see what we need for some reactor glass. What we need is glass and a reactor casing. That's easy enough. Just looking at the list. And like they're actually not on to-do list to do power source, but that, that comes under the machinery really, doesn't it? Oh look at that. It's nearly finished. Oh it's not gonna finish no iron uh iron? There's no lava. I need to plant them ender lilies as well. Chuck them in there for now. Just chuck all that in there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow, wowza, that is a lot of iron, oh yes, that is a bonus, that means we shouldn't need any more iron now, this should be enough, fingers crossed anyway. I think next episode we'll probably start working on the computer system to have it all computerised, because we've got three different locations where everything's stored now, we need it all on one, one drive, one drive. Right, do this in one more time and then... We're going to finish the reactor. So also what I'm going to need is, I always have a, a setup. So if we go thermal, so we need some more of the iron ducts, which are here. There, so we need some tin and some lead. And then we need some pneumatic servos, which is iron, glass, and a redstone. So if we go lead, tin, and glass, that I should have somewhere. Um, I did have glass somewhere. Oh wow, I completely forgot about all them. Oh yes. Oh yes, this should be enough. We shouldn't don't even need the iron, I don't think. Bonus! Right, I do need to sort out my food situation as well. Look at my hunger. So without the coolant, this would be a very inefficient uh, reactor. But it will be efficient once I am finished.
Oh, doesn't it look sexy? Right, so I think that is going to be it for this episode. We've had some hard times, and that, but we've got a big reactor. Oh, thank God that I accidentally left some uh, reactor casing and redstone over there. What I'll probably do is, between episodes, get everything set up, ready to build the all the machines that are needed. So what I'll do is probably get all the materials, put them in benches here and whatever. But anyway, that has been Willy Revenge. Thanks for watching. That is the big reactor behind us, looking sexy as. And like I said before, before I go, is you can get onto the top of it. It's up for these, so you can set like your control rod temperatures. 50% is normally a good one to go for. So just like so, and then. That should give it be a bit more efficient. Next episode, we'll uh, make all the coolant, hopefully, and put the coolant in, and then make it even more efficient. And then we've got an awesome reactor. Yeah, probably get some glass put in there as well. The only reason I've got three power taps is because I haven't got any of the redstone. I only used redstone energy conduits, so we need to make some of them later on. But I can put the machines there and that'll power it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up for the big reactor. We could go bigger, but I think that's just a handful size. It'll give me enough power, I hope. Anyway, we'll catch you all next week. Bye. Oh yeah, don't forget, if you want this more often, leave a comment below and we'll do it more than once a week. Bye.